Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm Charlie. And we're with Jeeps on the Run. And today we're going to be installing these Hook Road uh, side steps. The new Saharas forever since the time of dawn. Sahara always came with side steps standard. I don't think it's just a 4xE thing, but now they do not come with side steps. So we hooked up with uh, Hook Road. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Uh, TikTok, rather. And uh, we're going to see what their product's like. So follow along and... Let's get started. So we're gonna open it up. This is gonna be a raw video. We have not gotten in here. We'll see what we need for tools and uh, we'll see what we're working against. Directions. 13 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter wrench. About one hour, two to three people may be needed for installation, time may differ may differ according to your mechanical skills. I think we're gonna lick this in a half hour, what do you think? That, at most. Uh, and then there's a QR code that says carefully watch this uh, electronic version before installing. Here's the other thing we should talk about. A lot of times when you purchasing products for a four by E specific vehicle online, it says that they do not fit. Uh, most of these types of products are interchangeable before a standard Wrangler and a 4xE Wrangler. It's just that the most of the manufacturers don't understand that yet. So you might want to check with the manufacturer first, but most of this stuff is interchangeable, whether it's a 4xE or not. So I don't think you can screw this up. It's got a big R in it. I'm assuming the other one has an L in it. Um, check that out, Charlie. It says since 1941, they're nice and heavy. The one thing that uh, we've installed a lot of these types of steps on uh, different Wranglers and from different manufacturers, and I won't call them out specifically, but one thing you'll notice a lot of times is these are open. So in our area, in the Chicagoland area, it fills with salt, fills with all the, all the road contaminants over the winter, and then they rust from the inside out. Uh, the other thing I've had is where the, the powder coat is really, really thin, especially around the welds. Uh, so at first glance, I like that this is closed it and feels, everything's sealed off. The powder coat feels pretty nice too. It does not feel thin at all. Powder coat does feel really nice and it's really heavy around all the welds. So, so far, uh, the initial, I guess the initial, uh, initial thoughts on them are pretty impressive. So let's see if the other one, does the other one say left on it, Charlie? So right here, the other one says left. Instead of the R right here, there's an L. If you've ever put these on before this style, does not require you to remove any hardware on the body itself. There are some steps that require you to remove the main bolt that goes up into the holds the body onto the Jeep. I give you a highly, highly caution when you do that is you must heat those bolts up because they will break. And if you break one of those bolts, they're encapsulated. You can't get to the other side and you've now probably created yourself a major problem. You're gonna have to go see a body guy. These are not, do not even require uh, any of that kind of invasiveness as far as mounting. So uh, if you've ever mounted these, they're generally pretty straightforward, um, but it's gonna take two of us to hold them up and get the, get the hardware on. So we'll get the hardware on loosely, get it lined up, and then we'll tighten it up. So all right, so all Charlie and I have done so far is we literally just brought our floor jack out. We left the plastic under here so we don't scratch it, and we jacked it up. You're gonna see two, for six holes that are gonna go right through the pinch weld. We'll show those in a second. And then underneath, you're gonna see uh, three holes that are gonna go up into the body. If you had factory steps, it's gonna be all the same, all the same factory locations as the steps that were on here. Um, I happen to have factory hardware from my old Jeep when we removed steps. So I'm gonna just use the factory hardware for installing it up into the body. Uh, the factory steps, the threads are part of the step, so we're going to go ahead and use the supplied hardware for that. These are like a, a keyed uh, hex, so you're going to want to put the nice uh, stainless steel side through. This This will be probably your hardest part, I know it sounds dumb, but is is getting that, that nut or that bolt through there. You're going to want to put the threads on the inside and then it's got some lock nuts that you're gonna use on the inside. So pretty straightforward. If you don't have your factory hardware, not a big deal. They give you hardware. Um, I'm just always a believer that the factory stuff is always a little nicer and it's zinc coated and whatever. So I'm not saying that this is bad. Uh, I'm just gonna opt for putting the factory stuff back in. 
Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and screw loosely the three main ones in, and then we're gonna go back and put the other six into the pinch weld, and then we're gonna tighten everything up. You guys so these are the, the ones I was talking about that go through the pinch weld. If you can see on the camera, but it's got the squared edge. So once it's in there, it won't, it won't spin on you. The hardest part, honest, <laughs> like that, honestly, is gonna be getting these through there um, and in through the, into the pinch weld. You don't wanna go this way. Um, you're, and then this is why you wanna keep everything loose so you can make sure it gets tightened up accordingly. Yeah, so you don't wanna have your threads coming from the inside of the Jeep out. You want the threads coming in from the outside, the door side in. But before that, but before we put those six in, we're gonna put these bolts on just to hold it in place enough. Again, we're gonna leave everything loose until it's all in. And you'll see why, because there's a lot of adjustment. There's a lot of keyed, uh, a lot of slotted uh, mounting holes. So once it's all in loose, then we can make sure it's adjusted properly and, and ratchet it in. So there's our first uh, 13 millimeter. You got one, you got two, and then three. We're gonna put those in first, then we're gonna install those little guys. Okay, here, Charlie. Thank you. So while Charlie is, while Charlie is tightening up, snugging up that top front bolt, I'm gonna try and get these in. Again, this is kind of a little bit of a challenge just because I got big fingers. Don't go through the front here. Try and go under it and through. Makes it easier. Both ears in. Yep. <laughs> Okay, apparently you just need a Charlie and you're good because uh, I'm still working on mine here. Put your nuts on the back side. Long side socket, where's the 10? So a moment of silence. We can't find our 10 millimeter. This is not even a joke. So the next step we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna tighten up all the 10 millimeters first um, to make sure it's drawn into the Jeep. And then what we'll do is tighten up last is those 14 mils. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten them up. Make sure when you're tightening them, that keyed bolt stays in this position, doesn't, doesn't come out. Can you push it in so it's not spinning on me? Yep. There you go. Thank you. So now that those are all tight, we're gonna bring our 13 mil in and we're gonna tighten these up. Again, you don't need to go crazy tight on any of this stuff for that matter. Nice and snug. Uh, and then we got one more right behind uh, the cameraman there. All right, so Charlie, tighten the last bolt. We're gonna lower this down, get this out of the way. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I think they look nice. I love the 1941 in there. If you followed my other video, I had some people calling me out that it was 1940. Well, here's proof, it's 1941. I think they look sharp. I think they're gonna actually be useful. Let's see uh, Let's see how they feel when you actually like get in to use them. I mean, it's not a lifted Jeep, so I guess you really don't need it, but there's, you know, there's some nice room for your feet. What do you think, Charlie? I think they're nice. Well, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the step on the other side. I don't know, with videoing and getting tools, I, what did this take? A half hour maybe on the one side. So I see less than that. It says that you need three people. I get it, this kid's like having two adults around, but I think uh, I think one and yourself and a Jack could certainly do it if you had to. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine bolts on each one, including if you had other ones you had to take off. I, I can't imagine this taking more than an hour total. So thanks Hook Road for hooking us up on these side steps. Uh, they, did, they did provide them for us, um, but giving true honest feedback that we do on this channel, I would certainly buy them a hundred A plus. Their customer service is top notch. Their communication is great. They came from a local warehouse. They have warehouses all over the US so it came quickly. They were packaged well. That's a lot of things you'll find with these knockoff ones is uh, that the packaging is so bad by the time you get them that they're even scuffed before you put them on the vehicle. They were packaged with styrofoam. For that matter, there's even wood in there separating them. Uh, each one came individually wrapped. Uh, I know it sounds sounds dumb, but we've had some of the cheaper Amazon stuff, and when you shows up at your door, half of it's hanging out of the box, and it's been rubbing on the truck for four days. So uh, it looks good. The powder coat, powder coat looks good. I think over overall, the time will tell with some harsh salt uh, roads here in Chicago. But uh, Charlie, what do you think? I think they look super sharp. 
And uh, my wife's behind the camera. She's the one. This is her Jeep, and she's nodding her head that they look good. So wife approved, right? So uh, A+. plus. As always, like and subscribe. Follow us for some more content. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any of the uh, Hook Road products. They make a ton of stuff, doors, racks from JKs, JLs, not even Jeep, all Jeep stuff. So check them out online. Uh, they're pretty active on their social feed as well. So as always, like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Sounds good. Thank you.